So I really want to talk about this idea of um, intonation being more than just something that's aural, um, that it's that harmony can be a multi-sensory experience. The funny thing is, is that in other countries, especially in, in European countries, kids are taught that the piano is not in tune with the natural way that, that, that things resonate, um, which is, is definitely mind boggling. Because um, for me, I just, I grew up thinking, these are the notes. There's, you know, if you ever heard that saying, that little joke, there's 12 notes, learn them. You know, that, that's uh, the joke that's thrown around in Vachese a little bit. But the fact is, is there's plenty more than 12 notes. This is exactly why choirs either modulate or move down a semitone or something by the end of a piece or even you know, over the course of one phrase. It's really just because we're following our bodies, you know, we're, we're trusting what feels the best, tuning our harmony, you know, in, in the most organic form. And if you don't believe the harmonic, the, the, the undertone series exists, we can also do it with our own voices, just like we can go and do the harmonic singing thing. We can, there's this thing called strobos, which basically octavizes your own voice, so you can do things like uh, <clears throat> uh, even though I'm singing this note, uh, uh, and really what that does is it makes you think that you're singing the octave underneath. It makes the audience perceive it's an octave beneath. Well, next up, Big Ben is going to toll. It's going to toll four times. You can pick any note in the chord besides the major seventh or T on the word dong four times. Here we go. Into those parts we learned. Lava. 